After spending an insane amount of time re-watching the opening and ending of Digimon Adventure 2020, I've come to notice something found in both of them. For one thing, aside from Tai in the opening and Matt in the ending, Kari and TK are specifically singled out. Let's start with the opening first. As I stated, this is primarily focused around Tai with the other Digidestins getting one or two moments to show up. During the roll call, we see each Digidestin and then their Digimon partner. These are freeze framed and neither kid nor partner are shown together at the same time. The exception to this rule is TK and Kari, who are shown with their Digimon and their crest being shown when the shadow sweeps over it. When the champions have their roll call, and we see everyone showing up for battle, TK and Kari are missing. While Kari is understandable if we follow the original show's logic, since she didn't get to fight until halfway through the series, TK's absence is noticeable. Near the end of the intro, the scene shifts to TK and Patamon alone somewhere near water. Scenes change again, and Kari is standing alone with the light to her back and the darkness in front of her, with Gatamon's shadow running past her bringing with her a bunch of feathers. I'll get to these in a moment, because they reappear in the ending too. Following Kari's scene, we have Tai reaching for something, and when we get a look at it, it's a pink ball of light. Following this ball trend, let's switch over to our series ending. This is primarily about Matt, but during one scene where he is falling, a ball of yellow light is shown descending towards him. This is then switched to TK with feathers accompanying him on the screen. The way the feathers are positioned, it almost looks like the feathers are directly separating TK and Matt, who I am presuming is who TK is looking at. Later on, when we see the other Digidestins, TK and Kari are missing from the lineup. While we can assume Kari is not part of the group just yet, like in the original, it's odd that TK is shown not to be part of this lineup considering he was there from the start. What am I getting at? Well, first and foremost, the two balls of light we see are, in my opinion, Kari and TK. Kari is the holder of the crest of light, which is associated with pink. It can't be a coincidence that it's Tai who is chasing after and desperately reaching for this ball of light. TK is the holder of the crest of hope, which is associated with yellow, and it's the yellow ball that goes to Matt, who is his brother. And then there's the matter of the feathers. The first time we see a feather in the intro, it's at the very beginning. It comes back again when Gatomon runs past Kari, and then finishes up by dissolving on Tai's goggles. The only time we see the feathers in the ending is during TK's scene, where he is surrounded by them. And in the preview for Episode 2 War Game, we get to see a brief glimpse of Kari spotting a feather floating to her. Considering the feathers are associated with TK and Kari, I can only presume that they have to represent Anjumon and Anjawomon, partners of the two kids respectively. If I had to take a guess based on our opening and ending, I'd say that TK, Kari, and their Digi partners are going to be playing a large role in this story. Anjumon and Anjawomon were already pretty important in the original. Anjumon was the one to defeat Devimon, something the six other champions who had more screen time than him couldn't do. Anjawomon's Digivolution was regarded as the turning point in the fight with Myotismon, and she was the one who gave Myotismon the final blow. Anjumon and Anjawomon were responsible for granting Agumon and Gabumon the ability to make a Digivolve, and in Transcendent Evolution, the Golden Digimentals, they bequeathed the two Golden Armor Eggs to Willis and Davis. Magna Anjumon was able to beat Piedmon, with almost little effort, something, again, the other Ultimates and even two Megas had difficulty doing. If I didn't know better, I would say that we could almost get a frontier plot involving Seraphimon, Shrubimon, Ophanimon, and Lucimon. We don't know what evil Digimon will be brought into the fold, so we could have a whole new cast compared to what we saw in the original. However, without any more episodes to go on, since this is coming right after the first episode, this is pretty much where I will leave the video. I will be following this new series probably as religiously as I followed the original series and can't wait to see what they're going to turn up next.